What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can read from the title above, below, or wherever you're reading it, today is going to be a different type of video. Now, as you guys can read from the title, it is a self-care routine. The title, this is going to be my self-care routine. This is just what I do when um, I'm low-key feeling down. I was talking to one of you guys via DM on Instagram, and she was just asking me for some tips and tricks and what I do when I am feeling down and out. As you guys can see, it is pretty fucking cloudy, and it's about to rain out here. So I thought, so I decided to fit the vibe and just talk to you guys about what I'm going through and what I do to unwind and relax and just free my mind from all the bullshit that's going on. But before we get started, if this is your first time seeing me, hi, I'm Jocelyn Westbrook. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new to the channel, Hi, I'm Jocelyn Westbrook. Subscribe if you want to. Please comment down below some regimens that you guys follow when you guys are feeling down and out. Like, what's your self-care routine? Because I definitely need to add some more steps to mine. I'm not too sure if you guys know this because I did not bring it up on my channel. I mainly just talked about it on my Instagram. Like, once like things like settled and everything, I, I set the record straight. I'm talking about how I'm single now and all that stuff. Now, I did recently just go through a breakup and things have been... I would say it has been a whirlwind. With that being said, I didn't really mope around after the breakup. Like, I wasn't depressed how I thought I was going to be because we did break up multiple times, like, in the relationship, and that shit gets tiring. Basically, I was just getting over somebody while I was dating them. Now, that sounds kind of fucked up. It sounds kind of, like... Ooh, bitch, like, what the fuck? You were getting over somebody? Like, did you not like that person? I did like the person, but, like, so once things started getting sour once again, I just wasn't going to deal with it. I was just like, let me get that off of my hands now before things escalate. Now, I'm not going to lie. Since I was codependent on this person with just being there for me, talking to me every day, like, a bitch was... Now, it's definitely not to the extreme to where I'm thinking about... Now, it's definitely not to the extreme to where I'm, like, thinking about self-harming once again. I'm far past that. I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon, especially over a man because, bitch, no, man, that's what we're not going to do. I have a lot of things coming up. I have a lot of things planned and just dealing with a breakup through all that while I'm going through all these life changes in my life, like... Things were just getting kind of hectic. You guys really don't see much on camera because I don't really talk about my emotions like that. Like, I am solely here just to entertain y'all. Like, I want to be fun. I want to, you know, get y'all energy up. Definitely do recommend you guys take a day for yourself to have a self-care day. Make sure you get a regimen together. And then just have a day to yourself where you can just wind down, relax. Really just try to forget what's going on in your life and just relax for a moment. So there's basically only a couple steps that you guys have to do if you guys want to follow my regimen. Now, I would recommend it if you are, you know, a chifa. There are only a few steps that I take when I do wind down and I want to, you know, just relax and like get my mind off things. Have a bed. Make sure you have some Netflix. Make sure you wash your face. Get your skin together. Have a water bottle. Have some food and make sure y'all stocked up. And that is all these goodies from Pure Relief. Now, if you guys know me, you guys know I smoke majority of the time and it is typically and it is typically THC. But as of recently, I decided to dabble into the CBD uh, industry, I guess, or like, you know, just dabble into CBD in general. I decided to pick up some goodies from Pure Relief. They are a brand that specializes in CBD products. They have pre-rolls, they have joints, they have blunts, they have edibles, and they have pens, and all that are basically a one-stop shop if you guys are looking for CBD products. Now, before we get into the products, I did hook y'all up with a little coupon code because I know you guys are going to want to pick up some of the stuff that I do show if you guys are following my regimen or if you guys just want to pick up some stuff that y'all seen and you guys were interested in. So the first thing that I picked up was a one gram joint. Now I'm not going to show you guys a joint on here because I don't want to get demonetized but you guys know what a joint is. It is a one gram joint. The second thing that I did get was a pen. Now I already have one but I definitely wanted a, wanted a CBD one because like I said I'm trying to you know stray away. I'm trying to stray away from smoking every day if you guys know what I mean. I picked up the flavor strawberry shortcake. I definitely didn't expect it to taste like strawberry shortcake because I have a pen. I do have a pen that is a THC one and it is flavored and it literally tastes like nothing, like at all. I was like, okay, this is a legit company. I'm not getting a pen for my plug. So hopefully the flavors are decent and they actually taste like something. And when I tell you, I'm already halfway done with this because it tastes so good. And you guys don't really get like fucked up, fucked up from it because it's literally CBD. Like it's time to relax. So I just hit this throughout the day whenever I'm feeling stressed or I just need to relax, like just calm down, have a breather. To me, it's better than like pulling out a whole blunt and then getting faded, faded, and then just being on my ass. And I love the fact that this one lights up. Like I'm gonna show you guys like. Y'all see that? 
great. It tastes so good. It literally tastes like strawberry shortcake. Like you guys know those strawberry shortcake pastry things that you get from Walmart? Like it tastes like this and this is the go. Now the next thing that I got, now the next thing that I picked up, I was kind of skeptical of getting or having in my possession due to the fact that I had a seizure when I was taking edibles and I picked up some more edibles. I definitely learned my lesson the last time with my edibles, so I definitely know how to use these and I won't be drinking when I eat these, so. Your girl's gonna be good. Actually about to open this and eat two. Let me make sure I get the good flavors because I've been munching on these for about two days now and when I tell you these shits are fire, they are fire. Shit just don't focus. Y'all get the gist, they're like sour little gummies. And the thing is, they taste great. Like this one was orange that I just ate and this one's like, um, I wouldn't say a passion fruit. It's just like a fruit punch type of flavor. They're super chewy, they're not hard. I was kind of scared because I never ordered candy like on the internet, like who does that? But these are edible, so I was just like, okay, like hopefully they don't come stale and all that shit because I don't like my gummies like that. And that's the only type of candy that I do eat is gummies. But these come with 30 a pack. They do have melatonin in them. So you guys are gonna be having a good night's sleep if you eat about two of these. The suggested dose is about two and then three if you want, you know, more of an effect. But I just stick to two because I'm not trying to have no seizures or any of that, so I'm being on the safe side. The last and final thing that I did pick up from the website was a palm wood. I always wanted to try a bear wood, but um, I never like knew where they sold them. So when I seen that they had a palm wood blunt, I was just like, I have to pick it up because I always see these thick ass blunts with fucking wax inside of them, with fucking keef wrapped around them. I was like, I need to pick one up for myself. Like, I'm tired of playing these games. I need a big blunt, okay? So this palm wood contains two grams of flour, which is, you know, tree and it comes with one and a half grams of wax inside the blunt and then it has keef wrapped around it yeah i already took a couple hits off of it because why not okay this shit y'all y'all and the thing is this is made out of a fucking palm like i don't know if it's from a palm tree but whatever a palm is it's like an actual palm leaf like it is green. It has this cute little thing that says King Palm on it right here. I took a couple hits of that before I went to bed last night and ate about three gummies and then was just hitting off my pen while I was watching Euphoria. And girl, when I tell you, when I tell you I was relaxed, I was free-minded, I wasn't high, you don't get like fucked up, you don't get stupid in the head. Like you could still think, you could still work, you could still do all that. Now as far as these go, now as far as these go, I think these are true to what they say because I stayed asleep for about nine hours after eating these. Like I had a good night's rest and I woke up feeling like great. Now like I said, since this is CBD, you aren't gonna be getting a head high, you aren't gonna be acting dumb, like you don't know what you're doing and you're gonna act slow and all that. It basically is just to calm you down. For me personally, it is an antidepressant. I wanted to educate myself before picking up all that stuff. I wanted to know about CBD and what it does for me. I always heard different things about how like, oh it does this, this and that. So before before picking up any of the products, make sure you guys do your research on THC, CBD, weed in general because you never know what side effects other things can cause because you guys never know what other side effects things can, you know, add on to whatever you're going through. But for me personally, this does help me with my stress, my anxiety, my depression. Like I said, I have been going through a hectic time in my life where everything is just going like like quick these are products i can actually use to benefit me apart from just slowing me down because i can actually work i can actually focus i can actually do everything that i typically do without feeling groggy without feeling like slow and not wanting to do anything because if you guys know smoking actual thc makes you lazy as fuck like i don't care what anybody says it makes you lazy it makes you slumped like it's just too much. So CBD is a great alternative for the working person or if you just wanna um, smoke and not feel, you know, unmotivated and all that stuff. Apart from that, like I said, all you need is your bed and some good shows and some water. I'll give you guys a little bit of insight on what I have been watching as of late, what have I been binge watching. But the show that I've been gagging over as of late is obviously the one and only Euphoria if you guys are not watching that like, girl. It is a whirlwind. It is so good. This season just ended. I watched the last episode last night and girl, I was gagging like, Jules, why you got a daughter? Like, don't do that. I'm so excited for the next season. Zendaya did amazing. I'm just obsessed with that show. And the fact that it was only seven episodes, like, when am I going to get the new season? The next show that I've been watching is Pose. It is another like type of LGBT, like, 
show, I guess. It is about the ballroom. If you guys don't know what the ballroom is, then, you know, get educated too, especially if you're in the LGBT community, like, what you doing? That show is something that I definitely can relate to, considering that a lot of the stuff is about the trans community. Majority of the uh, actors on there are transgender. It's definitely something that my girls can relate to, and I definitely do recommend it because it's juicy, the drama, the tea, ooh, the suspense. I'm excited for the next season. It is one season just like Euphoria. Another show that I finally got into was How to Get Away with Murder. That show is super old. I know y'all can clown on me in the comments down below, but I just started watching it. I'm on the second season in Lord. It is fucking fire. Like, how y'all gonna do all that? I'm not gonna even give away none of the stuff. I'm just gonna list the shows and not get into it because I don't want to be a spoiler. But those are the three shows that I've been watching religiously as of late. I definitely want you guys to comment down below some shows that are on Netflix, Hulu, Roku, shit, all that shit. Let me know what's your favorite show and something that like is juicy. Like I need something that I'm gonna be like, okay, I need to keep on watching, keep on watching, keep on watching. Something that's gonna put me on my toe. And then obviously the last step of my regimen is drink water. It's always good to stay hydrated, so always have a water on deck. Always have a water on deck. Make sure you guys are drinking about three water bottles a day. Hopefully it doesn't keep the niggas away. <laughs> but yeah, drink some water. If you guys have time, make sure you guys are walking frequently. It doesn't have to be every day, but make sure you go outside, get some sun because Y'all need that sun. Even though it's hot, whenever I do do my running, I do it at night because I do live in Vegas and it's extremely hot. When I do walk during the day, I do walk to the 7-Eleven and get my wraps. So you already know me, I need my duchess, but it's giving me some exercise, so what are we doing? But basically, those are my steps when I do have a self-care routine. Now, I do take a shower and all that. I have a little face mask, but those are typical things you need to do when you wanna wind down. So if you guys wanna pick up any of the products I did mention in this video because they truly do help me with like what I'm going through right now, it is something that like I never thought I would try but if you do it the right way and pick up the right stuff you should be good to go but like I said before if you guys do want to pick up any of these products make sure to go on purerelief.com the links will be down in the description box below as well as my coupon code Jasmine Westbrook 16 make sure you use that coupon code so you guys do save money because there's literally no point in like not using coupon code if you don't save some money like save that coin so it's not making me no money so Shit, you have to go. I just wanted to talk about some of the things that I do when I do have my little self-care days. It's not too much. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I want you guys to comment down below some of your guys' regimens so I can add those to mine. I just need to find other alternatives to make me happy, make me more positive. Just give me a better life in general. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you guys are. I know this is a late upload, but I just wanted to get this up. I just wanted to talk to you guys because it's raining. I'm alone. I have no fucking friends. But without further ado, I love you guys with all my heart. Peace, love, and dildos. See you in my next one.